Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Cricket Captain 2021 and another part of our road to world number one with England. Today we've got the third and final test match against New Zealand. So I hope you're looking forward to it. Leave a like if you are enjoying the series. Apologies if I sound a little bit bugged up. If you hear a few sniffles or uh, a cough or two. I am unfortunately a little bit under the weather at the moment. Uh, the week before half term as well, so hopefully it's cleared up by then so that we can really push the content over the next couple of weeks. But of course, last time out, we turned the series around. We beat New Zealand by 90 runs. Uh, it was a good match, actually. We opened up the batting, had a, a decent stab at it. Uh, with 241, particularly Ollie Pope, Sam Curran, managing to get some runs there. Uh, in the second innings, the bowlers definitely took over Anderson and Broad for each. Very, very good. The second innings, again, it was uh, Ollie Pope that, that helped us out there. 226, we scored there before bowling out the New Zealanders for 221. Anderson with six wickets. What a match for him. And what a start to the year he's had uh, with. 16 wickets in his first two test matches, meaning he's now on 715 test match wickets. So, uh, I have went ahead and selected the squad, and we have a couple of new faces. Adam Lythe is back into the squad at the age of 34. Of course, played seven test matches back in the day, but has been in wonderful first-class form this season, so I thought uh, definitely deserves a chance to See if he can produce it again. He's had uh, four centuries in his last uh, sort of six innings. So looking forward to seeing if he can produce something that's good along with Sibley. Uh, Zach Crawley will be at three. Uh, Milan will make way. And uh, there's also a, a new boy in the squad, Danny Osterfield. He's uh, only played six test, uh, first class matches. But uh, top score of 158 not out. Looks pretty good. So we'll keep an eye on him. He's only 22. Just keeping him in and around the squad to see uh, how he gets on. So Crawley at four. Sorry, Crawley at three. Uh, Joe Root at four. Uh, we're going to have Ben Stokes at six. And of course, uh, at five. Ollie Pope at six, Ben Folks at seven as our wicket keeper. We've then got uh, Archer back into the squad to replace Sam Curran. Uh, he'll bat at eight and then Broad at nine, Leach at ten and Jimmy Anderson at eleven. So let's have a little look at the conditions. Uh, very, very cloudy early on, so probably a good toss to lose, to be honest. Uh, but we have uh, lost it and we are batting. So, you know, I, I would have probably chose to bowl had... We uh, won the toss, so I'm glad that decision was sort of took out of our hands because a lot of people tend to have a, a little Four fuss about no me moved. choosing the ball first. Particularly a former a watcher like of one of the videos. I, I had a bit of a hissy fit once uh, when I called him out for always being negative in the comment stroke. section. Uh, but oh hey, dear. That you know, we move on. A massive shout for if we can't have a, a laugh now and, a, now and again. But Adam Lyons, what a start for him. He's on 18 already. Uh, oh, what? but he's gone. He's out for 18. What a shame that is. And what a start it would have been. He's out. Oh, oh Crawley gone for four as well. I thought moving him down to three he's might help him right. out. But it hasn't happened. Now, Joe Root comes to the crease. He needs a bit of a score. And let's be honest. It struck him in line. That's good. The umpire says... Delivery, but pitched outside leg. Again, a good shot from Joe Root. We are expecting rain delays today, so the more runs we can get on the board early on, the better position we're going to be in. Corker of a ball. But Root's gone. Again, balled around his legs. And lunch interval day one, 87 for three. Not the best start. But about on par for the course for this series so far. Beautiful ball. Ooh, good delivery. But with how cloudy it is, 
New Zealand could have ripped through us. He's missed they haven't done that, to be fair. He's edged it. That's high in the air. There's nobody out there, though. That is going to be six. And Dom Sibley heading towards his first 50 of the summer. And there it is. Excellent stuff from him. Good opening. Goal. Gambit and well Stokes gone for 16 Ollie Pope comes to the crease a player has been in excellent form can he continue it that's the question yeah, good shot from Sibley yeah, again nice shot from Ollie Pope cool. oh he's gone he's out for 15 and again another player that's got to start, but hasn't done anything with it. One five three for five. A T. Look how Time cloudy it is. You can see the sky. And this is perfect Jimmy Anderson weather, really. And oh, oh, and ball. another player balled round the legs. Sibley gone for seventy eight. Rain stops playing. That's going to be the end of day one. One eighty two for six. It looks like we're going to have a very similar outlook to. Oh, this innings as we did last time I don't out. Know where that was? If we can score two forty again, that would be good. Four rounds. Decent start for Joffre. Another four there. Nice. Good stuff. Oh, oh what a catch! A He's gone. Brilliant stuff from him. And yeah, Ben Folks needs to start. Playing well. Oh, that's not far away. Otherwise, Josh Butler could find himself back in oh, the what? England squad. He's backed up and hammered that one. Oh, shot. Shot. That's a beautiful. Great shot. Well oh, taken. broad guard. What a pity. But ben Fawkes not doing too badly. Get bad on ball, but he is ball. He's out for 34. And now Lichi coming to the crease. That's but Anderson's idea. gone. First ball, he's out for a duck. So 220 all out in this first inning. So let's see how Jimmy Anderson gets on today with the ball. Him and Stu Broad. Ball appeals. Ooh, that's going to slip down leg no, side. he's not going to give those out. Out. Dolly of a catch. Well, there you go. Anderson gets the first wicket. He's gone for 10. And Jimmy Anderson's 17th wicket the of the series. Can he get his 18th with Williamson? Right yes, down. he can. Williamson gone for six. And now New Zealand two down. Anderson into Conway. Nervous looking shot. That was close as well. Goodness me, he's balling well. Lunch interval day two, 31 for two. Uh, New Zealand really struggling to play yeah, Anderson. Play That's around, a great man. delivery, but nope, I think it's still... just outside the the line of off stump. Joff Archer comes in for his first overs of the summer. Probably a little bit hard done by to miss out after an excellent winter. Stokes now went to lay the ball. Stokes into Conway. Is that a thin one? No, unfortunately not. Stokes into Conway now. Edged and gone. He's out for 44. That's a big wicket. That is a big wicket. Tateville day two. 132 for three. Jimmy Anderson going to bowl the first ball after the Tate. Turned in his hand. Edged for four. But he is making chances, Jimmy. Keeping it tight. Broad into Blundell. Edged and gone. Broad gets his first wicket. He's gone for 15. We need to get Latham, really. He's the one that is causing the issues. Archer into Taylor. Oh, That's gone. Up. Excellent delivery. He's out for 30. And now New Zealand five down, but are going to have a first innings lead. He's out. Edged and gone. Latham out for 101. And now we've got to really rifle through them. 
Brilliant. Jameson got as well. He's out for four. Johnson got as well. What a spell of ball and this is from Jofra Archer. He has turned on the style. Four wickets for him in this spell so far. Anderson's going to come back in with Licini at the other end. And there's not going to be much between us, is there? Anderson into Southie. Well, the ball is appealing. Oh, that's slipping down leg. Very next ball. What a good ball oh. he had to play. Leach into Wagner. A big shout goes no. up. Anderson into Southie. That's better. What a ball. He's gone for 12. And now the new ball available. End of day two. Anderson going to come back at the start of day three. We've got to get this wicket. Oh, that's gone. A and five for, for Jofra Archer, but New Zealand do lead by 60 runs, and that is going to be crucial, you feel, going into the rest of this match. He was nowhere near the ball. That looked very nervous to me. Oh, Ooh. So close to Tell you what, we're struggling a little bit at the start of this innings. And Lithe gone for nine. Not looking like a good choice to bring him back. Should have left him in Somerset. Great ball, but the batsman survives. Well, that's the thing. We're just struggling for openers. Zach Crawley comes to the crease. New Zealand were leading, but we now are starting to build a lead. Zach Crawley played very, very nicely. And there's his 50. Excellent stuff for him. Yeah, I realise that we weren't showing the proper highlights. But there we go. Now we're going to see a bit of Zach Crawley styling it out. And these are much better conditions than what we were faced with in the first innings. So we'll increase the aggression slightly here. It's a beautiful ball. Simply, can he go and get his second 50 of the summer? Good ball. Yes, he can. Excellent stuff from Dom Sibley. Proving why he's in the team. And why he's an undroppable member for me. Always oh, well dependable. Crawley into the 80s now. What a stand a this beautiful. has been. It could be a match winning stand. Well hit. The lead goes over 100. Do you use a record? Wow. There you go. Oh, what a shot that what is! A Beautiful six. For Sibley. What's the umpire going to say? It's pitched but it outside leg. Not out. Well, that must have been really close. That's a thick edge. Yeah, good shot. Frustrating for the bowler, but it's four. Good shot. So, Zach Crawley in the nervy 90s now. Right off the middle. And this is what we wanted from the opening partnership of these two. Oh, oh no! Oh, Crawley gone. What a shame. He's out for 98, but what a brilliant innings from him. And at the end of day three, it's 198 for two. We lead by 138 runs. This is a, a great opportunity. But we have to make sure that we see this through. Go and score 400. But Sibley gone for 90, so two of our players gone for 90. And now Ben Stokes comes to the crease, and I think... Absolutely through him. I think we want to attack with him. I think that's what we want to do. Get him swinging. We did it in the West Indies a couple of times when we were on the back foot. Get Ben Stokes swinging and he can take the game away from the opposition. That is certainly what he's doing right now. Joe Root as well, getting in on the action, which is good to see. But yeah, if Ben Stokes can go and get a, a quick fire 50, that is exactly what you want. That's very, very close indeed. No. Missing off stump, I think. Yeah. Not a great appeal, really. Found the edge. Big edge, that's four. Not textbook, but they all count. 
And there's another four. Great shot. Excellent placement. Good stuff from Ben Stokes into the 40s now. He's middled that. It'll be nice for Joe Root to get a big score as well. That could be out. Oh, no. Root's gone. He's out for 28. And what a poor summer he's having so far. Once again, struggling. But there's and 50 for Ben Stokes. A round of applause goes up for the half century. And again, that could be a, a match win in half century. We need to keep going, though. 300 is up. Beautiful shot. Four. He's middle this is the first time we've batted as a unit. There's another four for Ollie Pope. And another four. Very nice. Beautifully struck. Is that... Oh, a blinding oh. shot. Unstoppable. Wow. Four. I mean, he's absolutely thumping it to the boundary at the minute, Same but he's out. edged and gone. Jameson gets him, finally. He's out for 70. But we do lead by nearly 300. And considering this is, I think, the Four. first time that a team has scored 300 in an innings in this series. What a ball. It's unlikely. That there, that New Zealand are going to chase this. That. that high in the air is that going to go all the way? Well, that's hardly no, elegant, four. but it's four more. Can Ollie Pope get another fifty? And that's a nice stroke. Yeah, good shot. Good shot. Yeah. No, Pope is playing well. Pope is becoming an undroppable member of the squad. A huge shout goes up. The umpire's unmoved, but it must have been close. Bold. What an absolute crap. But he's got decent innings of 44 that. He hasn't got hold of that. Poor Ooh, shot. Oh, Brody's got. He's out for a duck. Let's go aggressive with Joffre. Four runs. Nice one. And again, lovely. Timing was the key there. This is the thing. He can get a bit of willow on it, well kid. Joffre. As we head towards 400. That's going to be out, though. Archer out for 23. Jimmy Anderson comes to the crease. This could be out. Oh, nearly a king a pair. For the bowler, but the batsman won't mind. With an inside edge for four. That's but out. Leach is gone. He's out for five. And we are 386 all out, leaving New Zealand... 327 to win the series. Anderson and Broad, you're up. Here we go. Let's see what we can do now. Can we complete the series victory? They've got plenty of time to win this. So we've got to make sure that we get early wickets. And get on top of them. Otherwise, we're going to lose. Stokes into Conway. Ball. He had to play. Archer in O'Donnell. Archer's bowling well. So is Stokes, to be fair. It's a good partnership, this. That was a horrible shot. Let's see what Leach has got up his sleeve. He's edged it. Oh, no. What's the keeper doing? Well, well, well. This is a brilliant opening That's stand. A beautiful ball. For New Zealand as well. They needed this. Well, end of day four. Look at this, 105 without loss, 2-2-2 two, two, two to win on the final day. Anderson, first ball of the day. Oh, that Oof. was close. Yeah, these two need to get us going. I feel like one wicket will unlock the door. Oh, that was very close. Brought into Conway. Oh, That's out. Come on. Conway gone for 83. This is what we need now. Anderson and Broad. Bowling well. Bowling tight. That's going to be O'Donnell gone as well. The two openers are out. And now we've got to get Latham and Williamson. The strong batsmen close. keep coming. No, the batsman was beaten, but it was missing the stumps. Well... Archer comes back in with Ben Stokes. They bowled well. 
together before. That's gone way That's high up in the air. air, and somebody's out there. Nice. It's called by Archer. Lay them gone for 21. But New Zealand still only need 139 oh to win. This is unbelievable. Stokes into Blundell. That's going to be out. Is it out. Stokes has got two wickets. And now we're exposing the winger batsman. Ross Taylor. Possibly the last one standing. Soundly beaten. Of course, you've got Williamson at the other end as the well. Ball. Stokes into Taylor. That's got to be out. That's got to be out. It is out. Taylor's gone for 11. Oh, this is nervy now. 88 to win. Stokes into Williamson. Oh, is that going to be out? It is. Well, he waited for the decision. Come on. Go. Williamson out for 50. Wow, Ben Stokes. What a spell of balling. Anderson now He's into Johnson. Oh. Wow. New ball available. Of course we're going to take it. We're going to chuck it to Stuart Broad and Jimmy Anderson. That's, That's out. Jameson out for five. 73 to win. We need three wickets. He's Anderson out. gets Southie. He's out for a duck. And now Neil Wagner. That's going to be an interesting one. They're coming back for two. This could be out. This could be out. Is that a run out? It's not, though. <laughs> Anderson and Broad. Come on. Anderson in. That's going to go down leg. Not good enough. Oh, dear. 35 to win. They can do this. Oh, it's gone. Cat. Wagner's He's gone. He's out for 16. Final wicket. Here we go. T interval, day five. They need 35 to win. We need one wicket to win the series. Oh, this is tense. Brought in a bolt. That's a big swing. And it's out. And Thin edge. Oh. Well, well, well. Tread Bolt has gone for a duck. He went swinging for one there. And Jimmy Anderson and Stuart Broad have finished off the New Zealanders. They are all out for 299. And you have to say they're unlucky. <laughs> they are unlucky not to win this match and win this series. We have fought so hard with the ball. It's our ballers that have saved us this series. Uh, again, not a single batsman getting a sentry in this match. Zach Crawley and Tom Sibley, good matches for them. Crawley keeping his place in the side just a little bit longer. Uh, gets himself another series out of that one. Tom Sibley, you know, an average of 37 as an opener. Not too bad. Adam Lythe, maybe that experiment in particular didn't quite work. But we do win the series 2-1. And that is a huge result for us in the uh, Test Championship uh, we are now on an average of uh, 75 points. I don't know what PCT stands for. Percentage of points earned. Um, so, you know, we're, we're looking good to possibly uh, qualify for the final of that. We have won it. And uh, now we are very much comfortably top of the, the test ratings. You know, we, we've uh, beaten the New Zealanders. We've got South Africa coming. We need to beat them again. Uh, it's the away matches that, that we need to sort out. Uh, if we have a look at the batsman, best batsman in the world, or second best batsman, Dom Sibley up there, Ollie Pope in at number seven as well. Joe Root down to 14 now, hasn't had a great year so far, only averaging 23 with the bat. When you look at last year, averaged 59, and his actual test average is uh, close, well, pretty much on 50. Uh, bowlers... You know, James Anderson, still very much the best in, in the business. Kyle Jameson, excellent uh, series for him against us. You know, I have to say, was very impressed with him. 40 wickets. Uh, that's not right. Current year. How bizarre. <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe it is. 40 wickets. That's a lot. Did he get... Wow, he did play well, didn't he? Goodness me. 
There you go, Jofra Archer in there as well. Ben Stokes in there somehow. I don't, don't really know how he weaseled his way in. But, uh, you know, I suppose he's doing a solid job. Jack Leach didn't get a single wicket in the, the final two matches of that series. So, yeah, I mean, you know, maybe he's the weak link in our squad and maybe we do need to, to look at a, a new spinner, uh, you know, spinner all-rounder, something like that. That could potentially work. But anyway, that is where we're going to leave it for this episode. If you have enjoyed that, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more cricket content in the future. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.